Hello everyone, welcome to part 24 of Laravel 10 tutorial in which we are first creating the admin panel and in this video we are going to work on the remember me functionality that we are going to do for the admin login form okay so uh, here we can see that remember me uh, checkbox is already there in our admin login form okay so uh, this checkbox we can add in any form uh, where we want to log in even it is at the front or in admin so the functionality that we are going to do can work in any form okay uh, so uh, here i want to tell you that we are going to use the cookies uh, for this remember me functionality and we are going to store these cookies in the browser cache okay so every browser is having the cache where we uh, need uh, where we can store uh, some of the data and we can store this data as a cookie okay so we are going to store the two things here one is the email and the another one is the password okay once the user clicks on this remember me check okay we are going to save this email and password in the cookies from where we are going to pick and will show it here it is a very simple process we are going to do within few minutes so i am going to open the uh, form here admin login form in uh, there is the page login.blade.php and here we are going to see that uh, uh, see remember me checkbox and here i am going to add the name as well name remember okay so now we are going to use this okay so i am going to open uh, the login function in admin controller where we are sending the post data this is the login function and here we are getting the data in the post method you can see and here once uh, the email and password is correct then we are going to save uh, the email and password if these are correct otherwise we are not going to store because that is the invalid credentials we are not going to store the invalid credentials we will just store the those credentials that works okay so uh, so that's why we are going to save here uh, once it will work fine okay so i am going to remember uh, remember admin email and password okay with cookies so here uh, we need to check first of all that the data is coming uh, that the remember me checked uh, so what we can do we can just check it here first of all like if the user check this one i'm going to refresh it once and if the user check this one click on sign in then here the remember will uh, is coming as on okay and the in case if the user don't check this at all and he clicks on uh, then the remember if button uh, that remember check both value is not coming even the field is not coming okay so in this case uh, we are going to do two things here uh, first of all we will uh, check with the is set is set that the variable is coming okay uh, so that is dollar data and remember and the second thing is if the variable is coming then it must not be empty okay so that is the second check that it must be not be empty so once again uh, we are going to check this one okay so in uh, if it's uh, fine that remember uh, checkbox is checked then we are going to set cookie set cookie here first of all we are going to set the email okay email uh, that will come from there dollar data email and uh, we are going to set it uh, here we are going to add the time limit okay here, here okay and the time limit we are going to add here the time okay so we are going to set it for like 3600 seconds means one hour okay we are going to remember this uh, email and password for one hour okay if you want to increase the time you can increase here okay like uh, you can add uh, 7200 for two hours or even more okay that's your wish uh, even for one day you can uh, you, you can store it okay so it's your wish and password as well we are going to store the password as well in cookie set cookie we are going to use for storing the password as well and we will keep it for 
uh, for one hour as well. Both email and password we are going to store in cookie for one hour. Okay. So here uh, we uh, if see uh, if the user check then we are going to store. Otherwise, uh, if the user not check that, uh, then we are going to uh, remove that from the cookie. Okay. So that uh, we can simply make uh, them empty like for email uh we can make it empty here email then uh, simply we can make it empty like this and for password as well we can make it empty as well if in case that uh, is not checked okay so uh so one last thing we need to do here uh that is uh we will show here the email and password from the cookies if there is the value in cookie then we are going to show it as well in our form okay so here we are going to uh, add the value see value will come as uh, like uh, we are going to add the check first of all at the rate of if and here uh, is set uh, dollar underscore cookie cookie and we are going to check email okay uh, then uh, here in this case we are going to show its value okay uh, so i'm going to make its value here like this and and if and here i am going to show uh we can show it like this for cookie email okay so i think it will work uh if uh, value fine it is okay so now the same thing we are going to do with the password as well so we're going to copy and we'll paste here for the password as well okay so now we are going to check i'm going to refresh it and we're going to try here okay uh, so we are going to make it empty okay i'm uh, uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to do that in ignito window okay so there is uh, no email and password here you can see there is no email and password here okay so now uh, first of all i'm not going to use any uh, i'm not going to use this remember me okay i will just sign in uh, i'm going to remove that uh, debugging mode we are going to command this one okay so here uh, we will redirect to the dashboard okay so uh, i'm going to sign out uh, from here now as you can see uh, see email and password is not stored even you can uh, see you can check in and you can check out as well but the email and password is not secure is not stored here now we want to store like i have filled the details here i click on remember me and now i'm going to click on sign in okay so we sign in and i'm going to log out and now it must be filled and you can see it is already filled here okay so it is already filled here in the ignito window otherwise it is not filled earlier you can see remember me is now working fine so remember me just remembers uh, this admin uh, uh, see admin email as well as the password okay we can also do one more thing here like if uh, it uh, the value is coming then we can uh, pre-fill this checked uh, like uh, this one and then uh, we can check and if it means that it is already checked okay see it checks the remember me it seems that the remember me yeah, the user clicks on remember me that's why so if i will uncheck this one click on sign in okay so now this time uh, it will not get sign in value so now we have unchecked that now it must not work let's see see here it is gone away okay so once again i'm going to use like this one remember me check now this time it will not go next time when you log out it it keeps it there okay 
see here it keeps it there along with the remember me check okay so i hope that the functionality is very much clear to you and you can apply this uh, in any login form not only to admin login form you can apply this to any login form uh, whether it is uh, user login or some other login okay it, it, this remember me will work with any login form so you can try this at your end and if you will find any trouble you can surely contact me and always join and subscribe the channel you can simply uh, subscribe the channel uh, by opening this youtube.com stack developers uh, you can uh, subscribe the channel for more laravel updates we will keep on adding more videos on laravel latest videos on laravel okay and you can always join the channel for getting the complete source code whatever we have done so far so admin is almost complete uh, maybe one two me uh, videos more then we are going to work on particular website uh, some particular website up till now whatever we have done for our admin panel uh, you can make this admin panel for any website okay so at least this admin panel is required for any kind of website whether it is dating e-commerce or any other website okay then uh, that's all for now have a nice time goodbye